Let's see how a Silent Super by Smith Perona works. This particular one is a 1957 version and it's an alpine blue. And it comes in a couple of different colors, this particular model. I love this body style. Personally, this is one of my favorite typewriters. You can get them in electric or manual. This one's manual. And they're one of my favorites for um, typing manuscripts on. It just is, for some reason, It I love the body style, has the mid-century look to it, and it just flows very easily, all of the ones that I've I've used before. So you'll see this body style in a silent, a silent super, super. I mean, sometimes they'll have different or even a standard. And um, I honestly don't know what all the little differences are, but for the most part, it looks the same. Uh, they have the speed lines. This one, the speed lines aren't, um, sometimes they're a, a different, uh, like a gloss. And so they have a, a, an embossed feel to them. But this one is just another matte uh, uh, blue on there. And it looks really nice. So let me show you around about how to use a Silent Super. So first of all, there's your paper holder. Your margins are gonna be right here. And then your um, carriage release on either side is gonna be this silver lever. And um, you can just check the carriage to make sure it's smooth. You can hear a bell. So when you're looking, if you're looking at a Silent Super, um, a lot of people wanna make sure it still has a bell. But the carriage is one of the first things you wanna check. Make sure the draw band feels um, feels good on that. One, two, and three up here on the left side. That's going to determine if you advance a single, double, or triple lines, which comes in really handy for writers. So you can take notes and edit, uh, do edit marks in between the line. Um, and that is probably going to be. I thought it would be a carriage lock, but I am not sure what that is. So that is something I'll have to research. I'm not sure what this lever is right here. Okay, so, and then your paper release, because this bar down here will hold your paper tight against the roller. To go inside your typewriter to look at the ribbon, please make sure you move your carriage to the left and then pop it open. And right here, you'll see the ribbon spools. This takes a universal ribbon, which is available on our Etsy shop. shop. Um, and they will fit most typewriters. The black goes on the top, red goes on the bottom. Please be careful and make sure you know how to thread it through. Sometimes when we ship out typewriters, the spools will pop out and the ribbon, the ribbon gets out of the guide wires. First thing you should do if you order a typewriter and it's coming via mail is to check your ribbon and make sure that it is threaded correctly. Right here is going to determine how hard your type bars are going to strike the um, paper there. So if you want your font to be darker or lighter, that's how you're going to adjust that. To reverse the direction of your spool, because when you get to the end of a spool, it's going to look light and sometimes um, some typewriters will kind of even lock up and not move forward or the keys won't type all the way or the font's going to look really light. If that happens, always check to make sure your spool doesn't need to be reversed and you do that with this lever right here. Keep in mind that this lever can get bumped during cleaning or I may switch it during a typing demo or shipping. And um, so you may, um, when you start typing, it may right away uh, act like it's at the end of the spool. It's not because the ribbon is used, it's just because the ribbon direction lever was switched at some point and you just change the direction. So that ribbon will last you quite a while before you need another one. The color selector is right over here. It's on red right now. Just flip it up for black. And then to set your tabs and clear them is right here. The MR is margin release. And if you heard the click, that um, released the margin because it was your margins right here. Now you can go to the end. So 
I'm actually going to move the margins in for you and we're going to go into a typing demo for this particular typewriter. So let's, I'm going to bring that in some more. When looking for typewriters, make sure you find something that the roll bar works well. I mean, the paper is able to feed well um, over time. It can, um, these roll pads here, there's some underneath as well. That or the platen, they can wear and sometimes it gets difficult to roll the paper through. Doesn't mean the typewriter's not usable, that just means these need to be replaced or the platen needs to be replaced. Okay, so this one is a 1957. This has a really nice feel to it, I, but I already told you I love this body style. Um, the 50s Smith Coronas are by far my favorite in terms of write, actually writing. This one would be a good one for um, to take to coffee shops and stuff because it's a little bit quieter and it's a smaller typewriter, so um, easily portable. The font on this is really tiny, so just be aware. This is good for um, getting a lot of words on your paper, um, but bad if you have poor eyesight. So. Um, keep that in mind. It, the type looks really nice, but it is very small. I didn't already have one I would keep this because I really love it Let's try out the red. Oops, backspace. Alrighty, this is a really good typewriter. Love, love it. So if you ever find this body style, this is a great one to get. Um, I actually have not been disappointed by anything from the 50s by Smith Corona. So perfect for writers. It's easy enough to type that if you have children who are avid writers and they really want a typewriter, this would be a good one for them as well because it's easy to use. And um, the flow, and it's this is smooth. Um, and that's why it's good for writers. So if you know anybody who is an author or they like to write poetry, they like to go to coffee shop type-ins, this is a really good choice for them. All right, thanks so much for watching. Please view our, uh, visit our Etsy shop and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.